just slow crank across it. Yeah. Just see. You're not totally on them, but you're close enough. Maybe we get one of them to speed it up through there. There it is, Matt. So that dude come out of the grass and get it too. All right, guys. Welcome back to Three Pound Fishing. We're out here on the home lake. Got my buddy Mikey Brown here. Met him at a AMVET Outdoors event, right? About yep, two weeks ago. And we're back out here on the water, just having fun, catching some fish. And Mikey just brought up the, the first fish of the day right there. Good starter fish. So Mikey's retired Air Force. He's got some stories for us today. Can't wait to share. It's gonna be a good one. Let's do this. Now me and Mike have just, uh, we've been on the water for about 20 minutes and uh, something around that neighborhood. And uh, I gotta tell you, the bite's a little finicky. So we've been playing with baits. Mike's been pretty, cons Mikey's been pretty consistent with his bait, but I've been kind of switching back and forth. And right now we've decided that it's more of a pitching, slow, slowing the bait down. And that's what we'll be kind of working with. And we have caught about my fish, I guess, but a lot of them have been relatively small. What do you think, Mikey? Yeah, it's been a little bit slower than the last time we fished. But I think they're starting to wake up on us. I really want to stay height with that, right? Yep, I'm going to stay right above it. Where do I go? Ah. Uh. Uh oh, uh oh. Ooh. it out. Not a bad fish. So, Mikey, tell us what you did in the Air Force. Give them a, kind of everybody a background of uh, your career. So, served from 1991 to 2011. I was uh, in the Air Force in the Tactical Air Control Party Career Field where I served as a Joint Terminal Tac Controller. Uh, so what does that all mean to you? Uh, we maneuver with the U.S. and coalition forces and start calling in airstrikes close proximity to friendlies whenever they needed it, whether it was uh, from a bomber at 30,000 feet or a helicopter at 75 feet. Um, we pretty much just maneuvered with the unit and was another shooter when needed, but when we had to do our job, we were really busy. It meant there were people really trying to put some harm to us. Um, and then at times I would take over the entire airspace and control all the assets that are inside of it to, and uh, deconflict them to keep uh, the artillery that we're shooting into the, the target environment from uh, bumping into other aircraft. So it was a, a very tasking job, a lot of fun. I got to work some pretty cool ways, whether it was over the water or through the, from the sky or across the ground. But nine times out of 10, when I was there, I was walking and uh, the rucksack was walking me. You know, my equipment weighed close to 180 pounds with the three radios, body armor, helmet, ammunition, you know, spare batteries. If I was lucky, maybe some food. But yeah, so I got to do that for 20 years and my body has paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> and now we get to catch fish. Yeah, let's go fish. Good fish. Nice. Big fish of the day so far. Yeah. That's a nice one. What? Good fish. Let's move to another spot. All right, so we're going to move to another spot real quick. Hey, Mikey, do me a favor. Tell them about the VFW that you're part of and how you became part of the uh, M Outdoors down here in Southern Illinois. Just oh, like, yeah. So. VFW post 976. I'm the senior vice commander there. Um, small world that it is, my commander Tony Avers is uh, one of his platoon buddies and from the Marines they went to war together is Wade Rucker and so he they started the AMVET outdoors which they have outings for veterans to you know couples retreats the fishing retreat that I did with Matt a couple weeks ago um, they do coyote hunting and I believe a turkey hunt and some waterfowl hunting. So Wade came in and briefed us up uh, on our open meeting night. Now, oddly enough, he's actually a member of the post. I forgot about that too. He's actually a member of our post. Uh -huh. um, and he came in and we voted in and donated $5,000 to him to 
to support veterans. I mean, nobody does more than veterans than the VFW, and we truly believe that, and supporting that cause. And then we'd wanted to, we asked to volunteer. Well, Wade said the only way we could volunteer is if we actually attended the couples. That's why we came down for the fishing <laughs> and had a fantastic time. It's a great organization. I fully support it. Veterans out there, if you don't, if you're looking for a small, a very small outing that's 10 to 15 people, go to Am Vets Outdoors. Find them on Facebook um, and, and look them up. See what they're about. You won't be disappointed. Very you get cool. Get to meet people like this. We had, we had a great time. We had a great time. Incredible fish fry. Fantastic yeah, that, fish that, fry. That was that was awesome. And the fishing was good too. So, and eh, let's get. Gonna, gonna put some more slabs in the boat. Let's do it. Right there. Now start going right there. Peel it off. Yep. That's where we get it. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Told you. Nice job. <laughs> if he stop, he, he stops. Good job. Ooh, we just playing that fish. There you go. Professional release. Yep. It was a good fish. Not bad at all. Quick. Boom. Yeah, all good stories start with no shit there it was. That's how we tend to call it. <laughs> but um, yeah, we were jumping at Buddy was Lee Blackwell, um, who's a fantastic American, was uh, videotaping. And I'm sure he still got the video. So 35 feet right on that line. Yep. But it's a round parachute. And you can steer them, you can drive them a little bit, but they're not as accurate as our squares when we use for military free fall. <laughs> I come in and land and there was uh, one guy's POV was on the drop zone and then this the cut V, which is nothing more than a blazer that's camouflage in the military. And I come flying in and it's about 20 feet off the ground, it's getting ready to hit my mark and the wind picked up a little bit and pushed me. And I ended up landing right on top of this, this cut V sat on my ass and <laughs> threw my arms in the air and they were like who was that is that mikey he's like yeah that was him they were laughing and then i got the had to hurry up and get off of the thing because the wind was dragging my parachute so i was going to get <laughs> trucked back on the other side of the vehicle uh there you are let if, it drop if he had right hit right yep i'm sure lee still has that video and one day he could submit it to america's funny some videos we probably make some money there's another time down in Louisiana that I was stuck up in a tree for two and a half hours. <laughs> Had to wait for an industrial crane to come get me because I couldn't really? get my reserve down like we're taught and climb down a tree and couldn't make it happen. And there, my buddies are sitting below me eating sandwiches and trying to, you know, I'm, I'm 150 feet up in the air and they're trying to throw a soda up to me, you know, <laughs> which hit the ground six times. And can you imagine how much that thing would have exploded in my face had I got my hands on it? At that, Good at that height. There. I'm right over the pile. There, there it is. is. Make sure I got him this time. <laughs> Good fish. I see her. Okay. There you go. There we go. Perfect. Hammer name. Hammering it. He said hammering it. Let me show you guys what we're using today. So as y'all know, you found three pound fishing, you know you got the hammer 10 right here. That's the best 10 footer on the market. You can try it out. It's firm, it's robust, it's sensitive, it allows you to throw a light bait. We're throwing 132nd ounce three pound fishing baits and then plastics. We're using paddle tails right now. Uh, but also, most importantly, and Mike can appreciate this, being braid is really a big part because it's extremely sensitive and you can feel just about everything that's touching your your line so okay so if not then if there you go yeah i gotta I just realize I'll I, go got, again. I got string wrapped there it is buddy yeah he's on it again hammering him yep so so th shout out to wind rider with the sun protection you check them out and uh, just a beautiful day bluebird we got water temperature at 82 degrees 
and we're kind of been all over the map in terms of where on the lake and also in terms of the depths that we're fishing so you know it's summer fishing really they're on every pile it's just a question of whether or not you get a pile with active fish it's really what it comes down to don't you think so mikey totally and my snoopy pole is working out great today <laughs> i'm gonna upgrade to the hammer here soon <laughs> Oh, speed it up right there. You got one on your big time. Nope. Yep, there it comes. It's good fish. That was awesome. Yeah, it marked well anyway. Good eater solid fish. Live scoping and hammering them. Yeah. Troy VFW post 976. No post does more for veterans than we do. Come and see us. Best fish fry around too, Friday nights, uh, four to seven. During Lent, four to eight. What town is it in? Troy, Illinois. Troy, Illinois. Thanks again, guys. Please subscribe, all that great stuff. Great day with Mikey. Had a good time. Thank you mm. much, thank you much.